on my previous video I've been getting a lot of comments and I felt like maybe I should talk more about Miitao and why did I choose to believe in Miitao is the future to go with now love is not love anymore love is turning to a love game so this video I'll explain why did I say love today in modern society is turned to a love game you know love is not what it used to be before I remember my previous job that I was working in this call center um, just keeping comfort for the elders and I was really total amazed how you know they've been telling me stories that their relationship lasted so strong till you know I, I never even heard of this 68 years anniversary I haven't even hear 68 years anniversary in today's society um, mo mostly it's like 9 years and 10 years and 12 years and that's about it but they literally will stay with their partner until they die that is love all right and I was curious wanted to know their secret and they kindly replied back to me saying it was back then it was strict and it has to be marriage before sex so back then it was very um, strong religious reason and believe that marriage before sex so that was back then now let's talk about today's comparison today's modern world now as you can know that you know you know marriage before sex is labeled as uncool or there's something wrong with you and that's what would be labeled you know being a virgin is considered being shame in today's society Ooh, that's a lot to get out of that now of course let's see where all the dating games we start with I'm pretty sure all you guys that went through high school years and you see your mates are dating or you see your class is dating classmates as well and that is the prime year that everyone just start dating and as well having sex and you know people are, are very loose uh, at such a young age and of course you know alpha male and good looking males are more successful with women uh, with all the experience what can it lead to as they reach to marriage age which is the prime marriage age I think it's late 20s to the 30s which I'll explain that a bit later on this is where the love games begins all right for all of us to get in the relationship title you have to fight for a sperm the first step is to meet a girl you have to accomplish this texting game or calling game now I've seen in the past that my alpha male friends they know how to talk to girls they can talk to the girls like whole day even till midnight or even you know before they sleep or after during their sleep but these guys they can really chat for that long and they laugh they giggle man I, I give them props you know they know how to talk to them but back then there was no phones there was just pretty much if I if for this elderly they'll probably just ask ask each other out in person but now it's more of a phone and more on the internet it's a lot different than back then of course you know that really affects on how they behave as they get older because they know hey I've been successfully in the past I have a lot of dating experience and now I finish high school I'm going to go uni this is turning to appearance right it's getting scared like I walk down the street in the city I see so many pretty girls and I've seen so many girls look like Kim Kardashian or some sort of makeup going on and it's I remember when I was 10 years old I didn't see that much because frankly you know back then year 2000 there wasn't much that many pretty girls where most of them are uh, stay natural to be who they are but today girls are more on makeup and everything and while I was editing this video I think I need to clarify everything this word now as you can tell more and more girls are getting pretty that is true uh, but in the same time they get us teasing us guys mind now this is a game that they like to tease now I know the girls are not intentionally doing it but they purposely bought that sort of clothes uh, because it's a new trend like tight fitting clothes for example yoga pants 
tight jeans, short pants, or or really more skin, like baggy ass jeans that covers their short shorts. Yes, we guys do look and we visualize, but at the same time, that's not what girls should be doing. If you ever watch old films, and I'm pretty sure you you've seen this quote before or you've seen this scene before. A girl will ask their girlfriend, check out the new outfit and asking, does that make my bum look big? If it does, she's most likely not going to buy it. But today, more and more girls like to show their body, their curve, you know, tight pants or tight, I don't know what they call it, shirt or whatever, whatever it is, they should be willing to more of their body. If you look back to the girls back then, they're most likely wear dresses and everything. Now, I know right now you've been saying, hey, Will, it's 2015. They wear whatever they like. Well, of course they know what they're going to wear to like to attract us guys. But that's not the way it is. I see so many girls out there wearing that sort of stuff. And it's get to the point, it's like, why everyone's cloning the same thing? Cloning each other with the same outfit. What's the point? The girls back there will wear dresses, and dresses are a lot more appealing rather than now just showing their body figures, how they seduce us guys and manipulate our mind, which they know they are trained to do that because of all that puberty that they grew up in high school, um, university, wear that sort of club, sort of pants that knows how to grab us attention so that is the clarification and let's get back to the video and i'll explain that as well and wow you know such an early age with multiply uh, relationships and you know sparking love uh, only like alpha males uh, knows how to talk to the girls and how they get relationship started or in returns of you know sex or one night stands or cheating or yada 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 it goes on forever at such a young age with multiply partners and right now we have internet thanks to youtube it destroys this whole dating scene relationship period it destroys everything and as you can go through top training videos that destroy a relationship is makeup tutorial how to get fast six pack and lastly but not least, PUA, pick up artists, picking up girls on the streets. Now all of, all of these three trending videos are killing the dating scenes and you know, if you have all this makeup, know how to talk to girls with six packs and everything, you end up as being come across as a self assistance. So you're pretty much, you're doing love as a game. You're not doing it as who they are because they have all that it's frustrating to see a lot of girls like you know make up with like Kim Kardashian and muscles like Superman or like beyond your imagination those muscles and those muscles as well like you know makes you like either you lose weight and you had to gain all that weight and that also makes you look like an alpha male because you look like a tough bloke with all that muscle and you know how to sweet talk to the girl so you came across as an alpha male and girls the other hand goes to the gym turn up to have uh, you know love to do squats to turn up to have a bigger bottom and you know finding the scenes with all the makeup on and you know of course you know if you have the PUA skills or you know how to sweet talk to people then you most likely came across as being Bond James Bond who knows how to cheat or how to lie to get to women in their pants or everything. So basically, those are the top three trending that really kills the relationship, period, as well. And people just loving for the sake of their appearance, not who they are, because they've been taught that if I look sexy or if I look muscly or if I know how to talk like James Bond, I know how to get that person. But deep inside, you can't, you know, you can't just love them by their looks. And you can see on the news article that, you know, uh, happily, newly married, divorced straight away because the husband realized the wife didn't put on the makeup. And this is the first time they've ever met each other without makeup or one of them 
you know, didn't turn up with their muscles. And that's the current stories that we've been hearing constantly, constantly. And it's bashing. It's really bashing us like good guys, nice guys. Like we're not trying to like be muscly or uh, sweet talk or know how to lie or do this just to get the girl. Like this is the problem. And this is why I believe that, you know, we are being trained to be fake. Love has no purpose. You're married to a per person where your love has been abused in the past. Now, that means is that even if you're married to a person, you don't feel really love. The love that you had is the previous partners that you had. And when you find to the right person, you don't have that strong love. And you quickly it will fade away because you have that many partners, you have that many experience, and you can judge by this partner that is not going to go too well. So that means is that at the young age, you start to do your dating scene. And when you get through your adult age, and you have plenty of experience. But when you reach to the one that you get married, you know, it makes it difficult because when you're on your previous uh, partners, you either you have a lot of dramas, right? And you have a lot of arguments or fights or whatever. And the only way you resolve it is to buy them presents or add to the point you guys break up. And when you get into the marriage scene, right, you kept that habit of it's easy, you know, just to get rid of the person by, you know, you can simply walk away. And that's why you can see more and more marriages are getting divorced nowadays. Because marriage is just, marriage is declining. Divorce is going up. And that's where MGTOW gets through. Be single, be me tell, and you have to stay all this trouble. I know it's not the best solution, but at least it can save you in the future run. And I'm currently studying in the community service work. And in my course, one out of three marriage or de facto or relationship couples have been reported as a family domestic violence. So you pretty much went through a lot of experience dating scenes and I'm pretty sure you went through a lot of fighting scenes and look at that domestic violence some sort of domestic violence it doesn't have to be physical it can be emotional it could be something else and that really amazed me and I, when, when I say one out of three it's just I'm just saying it in Australia but I'm not sure in your country but what I can say is that more and more um, couples are getting into domestic violence and it's not a healthy start of a relationship or you know having a kid and when you pop the kid and you have divorce and you made a huge impact on that child and that child grow up to be you know a screw up or unloved like me you know like I grew up um, thank God if I did stay with my aunt's house I didn't know where I'll be to be honest uh, most of the divorce uh, kids didn't end up well and most likely to be a high school dropout or doing crime or just don't know what's their emotional because they don't they haven't been raised one of their family sides or most likely to be mental health suicide and drugs that is the dominant effect when you reach to the kid that's why Meetel is climbing up and i believe that Meetel will be skyrocketing soon nice guys for the win be single folks i will and that's will that's the video of the day about MGTOW and why MGTOW is the future because the dating scenes is not just a love scene, it's more of a love game. People just love by their looks but not who they are, really really are and more and more people are, what can I say, you know the cost of living is going up and people rely on debts and that creates a lot of story. That's the future topic that I'll talk about. And we'll see how this video goes.